Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk here in the home office, and I've got to show you something so cool. The newest AI image tool from Google is called Nano Banana, and it is bonkers. It's got to be one of the most powerful image tools yet, and I'm going to show you three prompts and how they can transform your pictures with just a few sentences. We're talking about fun stuff here, guys. Adding objects, changing things inside the photo, as well as changing the whole look of the photo, and then if you stick Stick around to the B side of this video. You've got to see this because I'm going to show you something that almost makes Photoshop useless for most people. So let's get right into it. So first things first, go to gemini.google.com. You can log in with any Google account. This does not have to be paid. This tool is totally free. When you get here, you'll see this. This is the prompt window. You want to go down to where it says tools and look for the option that says create images. It has the banana next to it because of that code name, Nano Banana. And then click Add Files and select Upload Files and pick a picture that you want to add here. So in this case, I'm using a photo of me sitting here at the desk. The first thing we want to do is add an object to an image. So in this case, I'm going to use this prompt. Using the provided image of me adding knitted hat to my head with a fluffy ball on top. The hat should be red and blue. Let's see if that works. And there it is. Take a look, guys. It's me. I've got the knitted hat on my head. It's maybe sitting a little low, but I think it looks real. I mean, the colors, the lighting, very, very cool. And you see how easy that was. It took probably 10 seconds to generate this image. Okay, next I want to show you something that is called in-painting. And what this means is that you, you can mask things off in the photo so it only impacts certain portions of the photo. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to upload that same photo. We'll start with that. Make sure that the Create Images tool is turned on. And now I want to use this prompt. Okay, so I purposely left this video game controller sitting on the desk next to me so I could do this. Using the provided image of me sitting at a desk, change only the objects sitting on the desk. Remove the video game controller and replace it with a vintage cassette player. So let's see what that looks like. Take a look at this, guys, and you'll see the video game controller is now gone. My hand's still there, the mouse still there, the microphone is still there in the background, but you can see a vintage cassette player has now replaced that video game controller. Very, very cool. Nice job, Google. Next is called Style Transfer, and essentially what we're trying to do is change the whole style of the whole photo. So in this case, I want to make my photo look more like a painting. So let's change the tool to create images. Let's go ahead and add that file again. And now we'll use this prompt. Transform the provided photograph of a man sitting at a desk into the artistic style of Vincent Van Gogh. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, check that out, guys. That is so cool. I mean, it looks like a painting. It look You can see kind of the paint marks there. Super impressive. And you can try different styles. It doesn't have to be Vincent Van Gogh. It can be different artists, different styles, different things. Play around. I mean, that's what this is all about. That is really, really cool. Okay, now this is Game Changer because now we're going to use two different photos and combine them into one but more advanced than that. And I think this is something that normally would take hours in Photoshop, even for professional level Photoshop folks. And it takes a matter of seconds here on Google AI. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take these two photos and I'll upload them into the prompt. The one photo of me, and then I have a photo here of a blue Hawaiian shirt. Again, make sure you change the tools to create images so it knows to use Nano Banana. Now this prompt is essentially going to say, use this shirt and put it on the person in the photo. Here's what I'm gonna type. Take the blue Hawaiian shirt from the second image and let the man in the first image wear that shirt. Generate a realistic photo of that man sitting at the desk wearing the shirt. Let's see if this works. All right, look at this, guys. This is kind of crazy because you think about how difficult something like this is, right? The, the picture of the shirt was literally just a product photo from a website. So in order to do this in Photoshop, you'd have to shape it, you'd have to light it, you'd have to contour it. There'd be so much going on here, whereas AI took a matter of 10 seconds, made the shirt fit to my body, I'm wearing the shirt, I just think this is pretty crazy stuff. And this is the kind of stuff as we get closer and closer to a point where you don't really need Photoshop anymore because AI can do something in a matter of seconds that would literally take somebody an hour or two in Photoshop to do professionally. Okay, so all the prompts I used in this video, they're down in the description below. You can copy and paste those and tweak those yourself, but throw some comments below as well. I wanna know what you guys are thinking. What do you think of this new tool? Do you have some cool prompts that you've tried out? I'd love to 
to see those. Post those in the comments so I can test those out. And should I make more videos like this? I'd love to do more AI playing around with this new nano banana tool. I'd love to do that. So tell me what you guys want here on the channel. And I've got a lot more to come. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow here on YouTube. And it certainly will help you see the next video here on Tech It Before You Wreck It. I'm Kirk.